Testing. Testing. And we're live. Hell yeah. Yay. All right. We're back. Fuck. Took a while. It was like a week. Yeah. 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 All right. So we're doing a bunch of giveaways today. Uh, Scully giveaway. Last one we got in the house. We're giving this bad boy away today. And uh, we're doing a couple beer oil giveaways. Um, I don't know how many we're doing. Maybe 11, 3. Oh, wow. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's up to you, Zach. <laughs> hey, I mean, it's ultimately up to you. Okay. Somewhere between 1 and 15. 1 and 15? Yeah. <laughs> 1 and 15? All right. Depending on how the day goes. Awesome. Yeah, we, we sent out a text today letting everybody know we'd be live at 6, and I think half the people didn't get the text. Yeah. And I sent that out at noon. I got, I got to talk to them about that. It'll probably send at like 8 o'clock or something. Yeah, let everybody know after we're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who do we got in here today? A couple porn stores. Oh, Darren's back. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I still love whenever I use my iPad. Says the name. Darren O'Kewanite Sayanagami. <laughs> Got to turn that off. Right. Got Paul Griffin in here. What's up, Paul? Jay Spalding. Toad is in here. Hell yeah. Mr. Bro, what's up? There it Jacked is. Jacked up Leatherworks. Who we got in the studio, Sealand? Ah, we got the Reap in studio today. Say you guys, something, Reap. You guys better look out because the future is looking bright. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, push <laughs> oh, told me we're gonna do shades. I'd have brought my shades and wore mine. And well, party Viking as well. Got party Viking in the house too. We need to break the ball, but this is the new kissing booth. We need to bring it back. Oh yeah. Yeah, we we actually had it. I think it's at my house now. Is it still? I was yeah. gonna ask you. I haven't seen it since I made it. Yeah, I'll see if I could bring it in. That should be like on the wall as a part, like a piece of art back in the warehouse. Yeah, with, with like a timeline below it. <laughs> when everything happened, that'd be fucking great, right? That would be good. <laughs> we could make it happen. So what were you doing in Youngstown? Seedy women and shady hotels? Oh, uh, no, we actually, uh, I, I can let Jay explain this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, what had happened was we went to take the bikes over to get their service, get ready for the spring, and I accidentally bought a bike. Oh, Accidentally so, bought a bike. <laughs> I, I, too. I tripped and fell and bought a bike. So really? yes. What did you buy? I bought a 2017 Heritage Soft Tail. So yeah. Your, your legs are gonna hold that up. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I I picked it up a couple times just to make sure my yeah. feet touch the ground. It's pretty cool. Congratulations. Thanks, man. man. Pick oh. it up a couple weeks just in time to start riding. So what did you do? Did you trade the old scoot in? Yeah, I traded the old dine in, and uh, as soon as I saw it, I just felt. And then he started it. That's what how they get you. Yeah. They start them out. It sounds super, yeah. super good. Yeah, it's yeah, ridiculous yeah, yeah. how yeah, good it sounds. On that. And I was okay. I wasn't sure until I saw the horn cover that's on it, and it's a skull with fangs, oh, yeah. and it matches the tattoo in my hand. And oh. I was like, I have to buy it. Meant to be. I have to buy it. That's so, awesome. So yeah, that's we're a little bit behind because of that. We didn't mean to. We strictly went over to drop everything off for service, and I tripped and fell into a motorcycle. So. We're doing that so bear with us as we catch up the speed and uh i think we're are we doing some more videos today yeah we got yep. some uh videos from monsters ball right Zach? yep what do you got lined up um so there's the bangers which is the... whiskerina creative and whiskerina realistic oh yeah quick draw as i call it quick draw quick draw so we got like what three videos that, today you and i yeah. yep uh, so we want to do that one now we're going to wait for it uh yeah let's let's start with a monsters ball video let's yeah let's do it all right i, dig it. I should have wore my speedo for this <laughs> <laughs> hopefully everybody gets the context because maybe we should give context again yeah all right yeah, yeah for yes. for those who haven't seen the monsters ball video or the last episode we did um so for our last beard comp in pittsburgh monsters ball uh we did a bunch of category introduction videos we just got creative got stupid with it <laughs> uh kind of like snl skits type of deal and uh everybody always went on the release but we never kicked them out again nobody's ever seen them again until like last week and we put them two or three up on our youtube channel on on last week's show 
So we're going to start with uh, one uh, one that Zach picks, and uh, we'll just go from there. But there's your context, so you're not like, what the fuck am I walking into? <laughs> I'm still going to say that. Right, right, right. I say that every day. Oh, here we go already. 2K doing his thing. Yup. My parents are so proud. Arena. Creative. <laughs> if I may, I think the funniest part about that video is we went down and filmed that. They were doing a big thing at the park. All these kids, families, it's and everything. Festival. And then there's us just showing up. <laughs> the best was just the random people walking down to that little section of a park where we were at. And then seeing me in a speedo and just turning around and walking the other way. They didn't want to look, but they looked. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple girls that look really, really hard to <clears throat> yeah, That'll it's... definitely help out your grinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that, that, that very good. <laughs> well, the best part about that day, Reaper, if you remember, it only took like that video was what, 15 seconds long, 30 seconds long? It only took. 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> we had Martin Scorsese over here trying to figure everything out. Well, that, fuck, that one we did on the fly. We didn't even, like, right. we're like, let's go to the park and shoot. Okay, what are we going to shoot? So we, we wrote the whole idea. The best idea was, right let's there. go to the park and shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we just thought of that one on the fly. It worked out good. I mean, there's, I mean, we I don't know if anybody laughed when we just showed it. But right. I know at the at the comp, people were laughing about it. So you That's figure all. we filmed what four, like four videos at that location and a bunch of drone footage. Yes, all in a matter of what maybe six, seven hours. Yeah, we were there most of the day, but it was only one day, so we did good there. Yeah, yeah. It was only one day. I think we spent more time here drinking beers, talking about what we were going to do before we ever did it, <laughs> throwing around about eight million ideas. And yes. I'm still trying to figure out. This is my first time here. Is this a game show or something? Yes. All right. Hey, yeah. Casting couch. Yeah, it's casting couch. We should bring in your couch. We should. We should have. Oh, that's what we should have. This. That would have been hilarious. Both of us sitting on the couch right now. I mean, we could fucking take a commercial break. And I'll bring it in. <laughs> Dude, sit on it. You know what I'm saying? People Dude, love that shit. Dude, that would be funny. Yeah, nobody's seen a couch for fuck a few years now. So. No way. Um, no way. Yeah. We got a. Uh, Dylan Brown actually made it this time. He's on a different time zone. That's right. It's like 3 p.m. over his way. Yeah, yeah. Where's he at? <laughs> out west, I'm assuming. Right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, Nick wants in here. Two chaps on speed. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with that, right? Oh. Uh, Nick, Nick, I wore a shirt specifically for you watching this evening. Oh, yeah, that's, was, that's the panda shirt. Yeah, I almost, I almost brought my murder panda mask. I was going to tell Reaper to bring his Michael Myers, and I was going to wear this murder panda. <laughs> But that's right. We'll save that for the other podcast. Got Jeff Blair in here. Hopefully he's busy. Jeff no. Blair? Yeah, Jeff Blair's in wow. here. Wow. He'll probably be on his boat by now, I'd imagine. Yeah. Hopefully he's boat. getting that beer. He has a boat. Uh, you know what? I don't even think I can call it a boat anymore. I think now I have to call it a yacht. I'm hey. sure. I think, I think can it's, you talk to him to see if I can get on that? Yeah, he wants to take me out in the family out this summer, so I'll just bring you with me. Just well, adopt Reaper. The family, too, because at first I was like, he just wants to take you out. I don't know if that would mean that he always sticks. lures me in with the family thing, and then uh, I end up on the top deck. Like, yeah, sort of button marking. <laughs> well, not, well, not that, just lotioned up. Well, that's friends. Yeah. We've done worse. 
Yeah, this is the first time we're seeing Felicia in chat. Right. She says she usually watches with uh, Joe, so she's logged into her account. I absolutely love him. So now she can type profanity at us, <laughs> ask us questions. Yeah. Yeah, so if anyone in chat has any questions, beard related or otherwise, why not at this point? Or, yeah, or we'll let them rip. Related. Mad Viking related, or we're just going to keep rifting here and see where this conversation goes. Right. So, but ask away for sure. All the people there in the <clears> chat <throat> that I see, I know we need some messed up questions going for sure. Yeah. yeah. We don't have to read them. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mad Viking Michigan's represented here pretty well. Well, Joe, bro, he's still doing the chops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And he did not want to brush his beard today. Did you, <laughs> did you see that post? I've seen that. Yeah. He was totally against it. Like I said, I'm serious. We should start a, I don't know what day, or pick a day to make it a sign for, but we do that morning beard. Monday morning beard. There we go. Instead of Monday motivation, Monday morning beard. And just what? Take a picture of just it? Just a random, what you look like when you wake up. As soon as you walk into the bathroom. Oh, my. Be interesting. I'll start it. I'll do it tomorrow. Do it. <laughs> Just do it. Friday, Friday morning. Being... Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I'll take the picture tomorrow, but I'll save it for Monday. I think maybe like Sunday morning beard would be the best because like, I mean, we usually, you know, go hard in the paint Saturday night. This is true. But that Sunday doesn't go good with the morning part. No. Do you like Sunday morning? Was Sunday afternoon beard. <laughs> Sunday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So there's a Beards at the Beach, October 5th. Uh, where's I'm not sure where that's yeah, at. Ocean City. Ocean yeah, City. Yeah, it's Ocean City. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's on our schedule, I, but I don't. it's October, and we're so far away yet. Yeah, we kind of don't plan anything out that, uh, that far. Yeah, yeah, they're like a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> As witnessed by today's yeah, transactions. 48 hours. <laughs> so 48 hours before your event and they'll tell you <laughs> right. yeah. that Ocean City after we all got back in the bar and you guys all decided to jump into your little skivvies and jump in the water no we that, no we were in it we were close was, beach. was that in the yeah we were yeah. close okay. we yeah, went in close and all i remember you guys getting ready to jump in they're like come on i'm like no nah. not gonna happen my skinny little ass getting in that water a shark could have killed me. I, that was my fear. I was scared to death I was going to get eaten by a shark. I'm still bummed. You didn't come down and hang out on the beach with me and my Speedo in Ocean City. That's what you're thinking about. I was intimidated. I, I, Dude, the, that you're working. the amount of pictures that we would have got from that would have been just absolutely perfect. Yeah. Well, well, we'll make we, it remember, we wanted, you remember what we wanted to do, right? Oh, yes. We're going to remake the video of Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. Well, it was actually Tenacious D. Oh, yeah. His cover of Chris Isaac's Wicked Game. I'm telling you, it would be beautiful. Like, yeah. people will watch it at weddings, bar mitzvahs. It would have been beautiful, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> so, Felicia says, uh, October 5th, Big Whisker Revival. Yeah, we'll probably try to be up there for that. Try to get out to as many as we can this year, beard comps. Um, I know in April... Uh, Jay is judging the villains call in Richmond, right? Yeah, in Richmond. That's coming up too, like a week and a half, two weeks. Yeah. yeah. Can I go with you? If you want to. No, right no, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to catch. I do. I'm trying to figure out the chat. Every, every week. Is it lost again? Every week. No, I got it. I'm just trying to keep up. I have a question regarding the chat. Yes, sir. Is what I'm seeing on the YouTube, is that live right now, or that's with the feed live? So, yep. like, if I see a message, Joe Barone, Dusty Buns, is that right now, or was that at the time that we're seeing in the video? We're on a delay, but what they're seeing is after the delay, 2K? Yeah. So, they're so seeing like, the they're delay. They're seeing us at a delay, but we're seeing the chat in real time. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's <clears throat> it's about 10, 15 <laughs> second delay. Yeah, something like that. We were talking about Nick Mott, and I just seen him laying here, so I figured it <laughs> his weekly. Nick on a stick. Nick on a stick. <laughs> He's like the mascot of the fucking show now. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. He should be. It's great. <laughs> I'll start putting him in the thumbnails. Right, right. Yep, we're just going to. We should put him, like, hanging off the side in the OBS frame. <laughs> he should be right frame. over your shoulder on the wall over there. Yeah, we could do a fat head. Screen right. 
That's one of those big, like, yeah, yeah. At this point, we have enough characters that we could have one behind each of us. Alicia said Dustin's gonna kill you, Joe, because he called him Dusty Bonds. <laughs> but that was a fuck, dude. That was a well earned nickname, man. Yes, it was. That was a good man. That that was one of the best times we ever had on bikes. Honestly, I agree. I still watch videos from that. Yeah, we actually uh, we're out in California riding through the redwoods and stuff like that, and we went. We're in our Airbnb. What town was that? Eureka. Ah, oh, Eureka. Okay. So, like, right down from there, there's a, a Netflix documentary called Murder Mountain. And we rode through that whole area, like back roads, gravel. It looked paved. The first five miles were or something like that, Jay? Yeah, it was, yeah, maybe 10 minutes. <laughs> and then paved. and then in the, the dust came, dude. It was fucking wicked. It was about four hours of gravel roads. Yep. Yeah, it was harsh. So, Dustin being in the back was... Like eating everything. It just black as could be. Dude, I wish uh I'm gonna look for that picture of Vicky. Do you have it? Yeah, probably Do have you it have somewhere. It? Oh, I'll see it. Yeah, we could we could show that. We could put that up to the camera. I mean, because we send it to the computer and all that shit. Was that more fun or your uh road trip down to Cincinnati than Nashville? Uh definitely the California run. I mean the Nashville run was pretty good last summer. Um but it wasn't nothing compared to going through the redwoods in in California and Oregon. That was, Jay, that was crazy. Jay, please describe to everyone about the uh, hotel room that you and I slept in. Uh, when? <laughs> that, was, that was whenever we were in Nashville. Literally, the heat would not work or the air conditioner would not work. It would be 90 degrees and like 10 degrees. Oh, yeah, the thermostat didn't work. So oh, okay. if you turned on the heat, it just stayed on. If you turned Wait, on the air. Were you talk to on the phone? For yeah, that, that was your room, wasn't it, Jay? Yeah, it was my room. Yeah. I was going to say, I don't fucking remember that, dude. <laughs> Do you remember who you talked to on the phone for about half an hour that night? No idea. All I wanted to do was order a pizza. And apparently, just, like, something Good luck. was going wrong. And all I heard was Jay talking the entire time. I'm going to call corporate. I will easily <laughs> sue you right now for what you're doing. I was like, dude, it's a pizza. Like, we'll live. <laughs> we'll, we'll make it. Yeah. Dude, we got someone from Germany in the chat. Peaceful chaos. Don't know who that is. I was in Colorado for a few years, but my bud, rest in peace, Danny, turned me into y'all. Oh, I thought he, like, turned you in that, like. He's growing his beard back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Growing the beard back yeah, up. Hey, he loves a joke test, bro. Joke test. Thanks, brother. So this is like game show. Brian Hagerman says, how do you get involved in the chapter? So there's multiple chapters. Um, some of them are official. They have 501c3s. They do a lot of good work for charity. Um, can put on beard comps and various other, you know, festivities. Um, I, I guess you would get a hold of Scotty, right? Off well, our website? Obviously, it depends on what state he's in. Start there. Well, that's why I said get a hold of Scotty for international. Yep. Or go to the website. It's still on the website with all the pins, right? Ah, uh, yes. All the actual chapters. Yeah, can you give that that link down in yeah. uh, in in chat? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drop a link for you in chat, Brian, so you can uh, click on that and it'll take you right to the page. And Scotty's uh, numbers are, and you can text him. Text him weird stuff. Like yeah, but in the middle of the night. He's in yeah. East Coast time, so the later the better. I just text them, you look cute when you sleep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That'll definitely get him the answer. He'll be like, who in the is this? I'm surprised we don't see him in the chat more often. All right, I just put the link in the chat. Awesome. There you go. Anything brewing chapter wise in New York? I'm not sure about that. I think you asked this last week, Paul. Paul needs to start something. Paul, I think, yeah. We've determined he's on the wrong side of the state compared to like some of the people, right? Cause... Yeah. Mostly everybody's on the East Coast side of New York. Yeah. Jay, are you, find, you having any luck finding that picture? No. <clears throat> I found a funny one. So, like, if, if you guys were, uh, 
if you guys were uh, watching stream last week, so you probably seen the Pescasa video <laughs> with Jay. So here's a picture of Vicky and Dustin with Jay. Let me get that into focus. And then try not to get the light in there. There we go. That's probably as best as I can get. I mean, this is tricky, huh? Woo! That's spacey. Good thing we're not on acid today. <laughs> that, 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 Speak that, yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was I was looking for that picture, man. That that's the funniest picture ever. Like it's just uh, Vicky had goggles on, and all around here was just you know normal. And everything else was just covered in like a quarter inch layer of <laughs> dust and dirt, and uh, it was it was kind of funny, but that that was a wild ride. Yeah, I'm, <clears throat> I can't find it. I, I I've looked on my IG and my TikTok, and I can't <laughs> find them. So I don't I don't know where they're at. But so Paul Griffith says, "Ooh yeah, the devil's paintbrush." <laughs> Dude, I, we we should start a fucking motorcycle gang called the Devil's Paintbrush. <laughs> the devil's paintbrush. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think beat the devil out of it is pretty good. Just right. Beat the devil out of it. Right. That was awesome. <laughs> All right. We should probably do a giveaway because we promised some giveaways, right? We did. At least yeah. 15. At least 15. That's at, least, at least 15. Hey, can I win one? So our first giveaway, we're going to do a Mad Viking Wolf Pack. And that's going to be a center of your choice. So whoever wins, uh, we're just going to pull a random here. We're going to let Zach choose this one to redeem himself from last week. All right, all right. Just don't pick someone international again. I already picked a Canadian for the uh, giveaway on Instagram this morning. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he had a Cleveland Browns jersey on, so I thought he was safe. At least, hey, at <laughs> least you know we're not biased because... Right. 2K is just sending yeah, we, shit all over the world. We just fucking let him roll, and he just picks whoever he wants, and usually it's the highest shipping cost ever. Yeah. So, yeah. so if you're far away from us, good luck, man. Well, Derek's package only costs so much because you put, like, all the extra sex toys in it, so... Dude, we, we had to... Like, I, I mortgaged... Re, got a second mortgage on my house to ship Darren's package out last week. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's shipping's getting crazy. But anyway, go ahead, Zach. Pick the winner of the Wolfpack. I just picked Paul Griffith. Pachow. Pachow. Oh, there you go, Paul. At least we know he's in New York. Paul, you, <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you can get a hold of uh, Zach through email and give him all your info. Or it might be in his system. Not sure. But uh, he could look that up and... Uh, We'll connect the two of you so we can get that sent out tomorrow. Congrats. Congratulations. We're going to send Reaper on a moped with it and hand deliver it. <laughs> I'll just show up through it at his front door. Fuck off. <laughs> All right. I never win any of these things. Uh, Anthony in chat says, Jason, I would like to invite you to judge our competition. So that narrows it down to two of us. <laughs> you got to say large or small. Yeah, you got to say hall or small. Oh. <laughs> One of us needs to change our names, I think. I think so. Yeah, we both can't be Jason or Jay or... You need something a little bit like racy. I mean, we cool. should let like somebody else pick our name. I can do it. I wanna, no. I, if I'm going to change my name, I'm going to be Thomas A. Hawk. So people can call me Tomahawk. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would be rad, dude. You have to call me Dragon. Dragon. You call me Nighthawk. <laughs> we already do. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was your safe word. What was the safe word in that uh, one video we did? Is it Oklahoma or something like that? Yeah, I think it did, was. We, did, you didn't bring that video, did you? No. no? no. Okay, that, we'll save that oh, fucking video for next week. Oh, I forgot about yeah. that video. Yeah. That... <laughs> we were playing like the freaking theme song to The Omen. I was like sitting there. Oh, like, yeah. See, we won't be able to play it. Oh, That's the thing. Uh, because yeah, um, yeah. Like, Zach didn't upload them all this time. No, no, it's not that. <laughs> it's uh, the YouTube strike. Because last week we played that little snippet from the scratch. And that bounced. The whole, like, that whole part of it? It's, it's partially blocked in countries. So. Yeah. Just for that short piece. Yep. That's yep. crazy. So no music at all, then. 
Well, if it, it's got to be like us purchased music or us homemade music, like when we do the Gravity X show here in a couple of weeks, um, we have a piece of music that opens the show, but that's from like a band I was in like a long time ago. And it's just an instrumental. So like, yeah. it's like something that I own or whatever, like that won't get you in trouble, but um, stuff from bands and you can't do any of that, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the record label, but usually if it's like Sony or UMG, it gets completely taken down instantly. Yeah. yeah. That explains it. Like I said, I know on Rogan's podcast, they were, he was emphasizing that about the views of Big Time. Because when he was just on Spotify, like it wasn't a problem. And then now all of a sudden with his new deal he has, they can't even play any music on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was getting away with a little bit, a lot, well, a lot more on Spotify, but yeah. Yep. So Anthony says, sorry, Sealand. And then he's like, okay, Tomahawk. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I, I, I can judge out there in Ocean City. I've been a judge out there before. It was a great time. Can I go? Uh, Yes. Yeah, we could. <laughs> we could. We could literally get a fucking party bus, like a thirteen-person party bus, and pull a trailer behind it. Oh, yeah. Throw a couple people in the trailer, some luggage. I okay. will never ever forget that. We never down in Virginia. We wanted to use the shuttle, but it was done, so we all hopped in the back of the van. Oh, good grief! All I wanted to do was just get back to the hotel room and rest. Was Was that in Richmond? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, that that was in Richmond. We, yeah, that, we had like that was a long time ago. We had like seven or eight people in that fucking ten by twelve trailer, and <laughs> somebody almost broke their arm. Yeah, that was a bad trip. So there you go. D with the save. He says, if anyone wants to look at the roads we are on, go to Eureka on Maps, find Freshwater Road to Neeland and Alder Point to the one hundred and one, and back up to Eureka. Good save, D. Thanks. Man. Yeah. See how he like he's so just the man. Detailed. He's awesome. Yeah, yeah. He's also just sitting on his couch right now with his feet up. With yeah. his finger too. No, he's actually got like a 600 pound beam on one of his shoulders right now, probably. Yeah. No and Dustin. Just doing squats with yeah, him. Yeah, just oh. one hand and shit. He's practicing laying trusses, dude. Makes yeah. sense. <laughs> with cheese in his pocket. <laughs> yeah. With curd. Yeah. Raw. Raw curd? Yeah, raw. Fresh. Okay, yeah, that's so all good. the world's venue, we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait to announce it. Um, we're ha hammering out a couple of final details with the venue, and we don't want to announce before we have everything signed, sealed, and delivered 100%. So I know we said uh, last week that we should be able to announce this week, but and it's the venue. It's not yes, us. Yes, it's not us. It's the venue that we we just want to make sure that everything's 100%. So we don't have to announce something and then come back on and change our announcement. And so it's just better to wait another week, maybe even two. I don't know, but it's going to happen. It's coming. Yeah, it's all timing and contract stuff it's in, in most Pittsburgh. part. It's, yeah, but it's definitely, yeah. Yeah, but, we can tell you that. It's going to be in Pittsburgh. Definitely in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. Yeah. Downtown. Oh, one, one thing we can release um, probably tomorrow. Those tasteful dudes you took? Those two, but also the logo yes. to the event. Uh, we do have the logo finished for the event. So we'll probably kick that out tomorrow on social media and stuff like that. And then as soon as we announce the venue, we'll be putting the website up as well. So a bunch of new stuff coming up. I see you busy. I've been very busy working with my new charity. What's that? It's called Doctors Without Diplomas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're, we're just getting started. Trying to get ahead. How many operations do you have under your belt so far? Fourteen. Four. <laughs> How many were successful? I finished nine. <laughs> <laughs> you probably, well, where are you at? Probably passed out pissed drunk under the table for the other fucking five or six. <laughs> where are you at with filming on uh, Strip Club Rescue? I honestly think that would be an awesome TV show. Well, we probably shouldn't talk about it. Come oh, Reap, that like reminds that. me. Did you see the new restaurant close to you that opened up? It's a crepery. Oh, yeah, dude. I swear on my life, <laughs> it's crepery? real. Yes. Yep. They're doing crepes. I always wanted to open a restaurant called Statutory Crepe. <laughs> <laughs> Where did they open? In Wilmington. Uh, New oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, I think it was Stomping Grounds. So we're gonna we're gonna get a petition going around and sign that they have to name a crepe. After you. After <laughs> your your crepe name the of choosing. The Corey Crepe. He just said it. Yep. That's the name of the crepe. 
And then if Barnes <laughs> if Barnes wants to open his own restaurant, another great idea is for like an Italian place. No means no key. <laughs> <laughs> what would a statutory crepe be made out of? Like strawberries for like the rake part? And a lot of therapy <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> yeah, this this video won't get taken down either. It's, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> is there keywords? Like rape? Is that, yeah. This is just because it's statutory doesn't mean you're an asshole. But Ooh. I wanted to tell you that, Reap. So moving on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good, good lead, Jay. Yeah, well, hey. Yeah, that turned out well. Some, <laughs> sometimes they can't all be touchdowns, buddy. Yeah. They can't all be touchdowns. They're never touchdowns. <laughs> it's just I'm telling you, doctors without diplomas, it's going to catch on. It might. We're trying to help people here. So Nick Mott in chat says, French people give me the crepes. <laughs> That's very funny of you. Yep. <laughs> Awesome. I think I, I would really like for statutory we, crepe to have like kind of a warm feeling. You know what I mean? I just figured we'd call it like the Reaper and just fill it with hot peppers. Yeah. Oh so I wasn't going nearly as far as you, but yeah, you took it to a whole new level. I mean, they, they'll probably sell ten times as more, but I mean, I can't do spicy shit anymore. I mean, we don't support okay. statutory. Oh, I love spicy food. Do you? Yes. What, you yeah, do? we don't support this. We're just listening to the Reaper. <laughs> we're we're riffing. I laughed so hard though. This is a while ago. Jay got a bottle of what was it? Pickled jalapeno eggs. Yeah, they were amazing. From a beer distributor. They were amazing. And he said they weren't very good. How how was that possible? Oh, they just burned your face off. <laughs> no, <laughs> terrible. Yeah, it was. It was you like think you're getting the best. It's like drinking lava. Yeah. Jamin chimed in just to tell us how badass your products are. Jamin Belcher, thanks, man. He said, uh, just tuned in for a minute to say your guys' beard products are badass. I appreciate that, man. As do I. Thank you. They do make me smell delicious. We should do another video. All right, all right. Which one we go with next? Um, what, what you got? Uh, there's Whiskerina Realistic or Whaler. Let's do the Whaler video. That that had Josh Mills and Israel was in that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot about that. See, that's what I'm saying. I forgot some of these videos. Yeah. It's been so long. Ready? Let's do it. Be careful, Anus. This is the hollow where Uncle Willie disappeared from. Nobody's seen him for weeks. Wonder if this here's Uncle Willie's beer. It's <laughs> not even open. Wonder if it's skunked. That beard will never go skunk. That's the best beer in the market. I like that. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna find us a whaler today. I can feel it. I can smell it. Smells like almost like Uncle Willie. Maybe his feet. What you got there, Anus? It's a flower. That's Mom's favorite flower. Yeah, it's a pansy. <laughs> Just like you. Hold on, I sat down to pee once, Cletus. We gotta get closer. I think I see him up there. We need to make sure he ain't got a mustache first. Yeah, no deer. Look them deer, son of bitch waiters. Nobody likes a skin lip. We need to double check. Let's go see. told you we'd find him down here. What's he reading? That looks like Mum Twilight book. He's been in our house. And I'll tell you what, I'll be damned he ain't drinking my beers too. What's that he gnawing on? That looked like Uncle Willie's leg. That's Uncle Willie's leg. You know them toes anywhere. I tell you what, we're gonna get this son bitch today, ain't us? How many times I tell you? Name's Nuss, the A is silent. Shoot him, Anus, shoot him. I told you the name's Nuss. <laughs> 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 
Did we get him? I think we got him. I think we got him. Nice, Cletus. Holy shit. Come on, Anus. Hold oh, on, I gotta get my hat. Yes, sir. -y. That's a whaler, all right. No hair upon that lip. I told you we'd get him. You didn't bring your camera, would you, did you? I'd like to get a pic with him. <laughs> we'll take a picture for sure. <laughs> Hold still, anus. I'm trying to get a good picture. Hold still now. Whaler. Such a wrench ending. Would you, did you? <laughs> Would you, did you? Welcome to Vince Israel from Georgia, <laughs> Tennessee for sure. Yeah, that that was one of the videos that I kind of like forgot that we did, yeah. and then when I seen it on the screen today, I'm like, "Fuck, you gotta play that one, dude." Cause it, mainly because there's no music in it, because we get bounced for the music. That's why we can't play the Chop Squad video. Mm. That's why we can't. What's the other one with um mm. the band in it? Like the SNL skit. Oh, oh yeah. That's a good one, too. Oh, yeah. I forget what that one. Don't Fear the Reaper. Yeah, yeah, from Blue Wish Cold. We yes. can't play that one either because of the music. So, so there there are a few that we can play. I mean, we could just mute it and sing it ourselves if we wanted, but. <laughs> and side note on the video y'all just watch is that that's actually his whaler, too. So I know that the wigs are extravagant, but. Yeah, the beard's real. The, the beard's are actually real, yeah. <laughs> I liked him a lot more when he had a mustache. Yeah. Love them, but... And now you see what we do with all of our extra time. Right? Where but... was it whenever we did the uh, first big mad biking video? Which one? What do you mean? Is that Minnesota? Uh, oh, he's talking about was, beard uh, uh, all the beard apocalypse. Yeah, that was in uh, the No Peming. Yeah, No Peming Insane Asylum <laughs> in Minnesota. Minnesota, that's it. Yeah, Minnesota. Right outside of. Um, was it? Was that St. Paul? Minnesota? Man, or... I don't. No, know. Minneapolis. Outside of Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Zach, look at the uh, No Peming. N O P E M I N G. No Peming Insane Asylum. I think it is. I think the best part for me was like after we were done with all the filming and everything, we're on our way home. We get a drop off one of the coolest dudes ever, Mike Weaver. Right there. And we're sitting there in the middle of the road. We have toy guns and shit in the trunk and everything, and the cops pulled up. Oh, yeah, when we had all those weapons and shit. <laughs> cops love that. So here is, uh, Zach's got something on the screen here. I don't know if you could show that to everybody. This is this is where we were shooting. I think it does look crazy. Yeah, it, it was um when you had to pretty fucking spooky, to get dude. from one side to the other, you had to go downstairs into the basement. And there's no lights. There's no electricity. Like I said, you gotta show that, play that video. Yeah. It's really long though. I mean, I'm not seconds. saying like on the podcast, I'm saying I'll post it oh, yeah. your guys' is like yeah. Yes. Because when I try to search for it on YouTube, it's kinda like you gotta like, you look for it. You yeah, have yeah. to specifically get it typed in exactly like they don't want you to see it. You can scroll to the bottom <laughs> of videos on the Mad Viking channel. Is it on there? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so if you want to see a ridiculous video, look up Beard Apocalypse yeah. on our page That's or good. just search Beard Apocalypse. But it's seven, eight minute video, I think. It's incredible yeah. though. Seven and a half. Anytime that I like try to introduce someone like to the products, mm -hmm. I show them that video too. Yeah. Like here's some of my friends. Oh, I know that guy. Know that yeah, guy. and that has um Yeah, hey ch hey, check this out. These guys aren't fucking normal. <laughs> And that has uh, Doc from Z Nation, who's a, a friend yeah, of yeah. ours, in it Russell. as well. Russell, yes. I um, was so absolutely pissy. At the end of filming that, the little man kept on hitting me in the, right in the balls with a baseball bat. I was like, dude, look, you don't have to do it for real. <laughs> Brian Toe. <laughs> Brian, yeah. I literally, like, I don't know, I looked like a leopard with, like, bruises all around my junk. <laughs> Couldn't one whole hug on his mom. Yeah, right. Man. <laughs> Man. Just saying. Oh, that's I think so you deserve that. that. That was so funny filming that, though. Like, oh, my we God. Could, I had so much fun. We couldn't get him not to say certain words. <laughs> he, he, he just He's like, I can't fucking do it. He was kind of mad after a while. And then we're just... That that was the scene that 
like took the longest to shoot was him punching everybody in the balls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think because he liked it. Too. And, a, and a, <laughs> a side note on that, um, anyone that hasn't seen that, Brian Toe is a little person. And he was in uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. He's part of the Lollipop Guild, actually. He's also a member of Mini Kiss. Yeah, so, he's... so he's a talented young man. Yep. And um, when we hired him, his agent told uh, told Brian that he was going to be there for a photo shoot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He yeah, had no idea we were making a mini movie. Yeah. And yeah. no idea, no clue about lines or anything. So he was just kind of thrown into it. Yeah, you know, yeah. so he was out of his element anyhow but he was super nice i still talk to brian he's a great yeah, guy too. Yeah, a really yeah, nice guy too. well he said he was at the following year he emceed he came out and emceed monsters ball the following in, year in his mini kiss gene simmons yes so it was awesome yeah people were spooked <laughs> they loved it yeah <laughs> that there, there was all kinds of people would just be like well you, what the fuck's going on here <laughs> like it was it was the best man uh, that was like honestly for me like besides calling out that was my favorite favorite year because that was my second year so i was already kind of like acclimated <laughs> to everything yeah. and then i was part like that was right when i joined the club and everything so like i had already kind of met a bunch of people and so i wasn't like as like starstruck i guess you'd say it so right and i kind of knew the flow and i got to meet him and talk to him russell and all of them that was that was also the year russell was a judge mm -hmm. awesome yeah i really loved the mushroom head year yeah oh, oh. Oh, we're talking like robots again. We are robots. That's awesome. Why it keeps automatically so, doing that? In chat, we have uh, Steve Sherlock. He's like, any word on some sample packs on Beard Wash? So oh. Jay and I were just talking about that yesterday. So we are working on that and hope to have something here this year that we can kick out. Uh, that that That's like samples for Beard Butter, samples for the wash and conditioner, stuff like that. So we are working on that. So just takes us a little bit of time. Uh, figure out packaging and so on and so forth. So yep. bear with us while we get that done. We are working on it. Yeah, Todd Dupler's in here. What's up, Todd? We uh, rode with him from Cincinnati down to Nashville last summer. Had a great time. Uh, we invited him on our California run we're hoping to do this year too. He hasn't got back to me. Maybe, maybe he can answer us in chat, Jay. Maybe. Will you go with us to California and ride the Pacific Coast Highway? Can I go? No Reaper. Okay. We don't have sidecar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get like one of those German helmets with like a spike on top. Yeah, if you if you buy a sidecar, we'll hook it up to Jay's new bike. I'll just make one. <laughs> See how I volunteered you all. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, he can ride with me. I have that. I well, that new one has that little luggage rack I can strap him to on the back. Yeah. Well, you should sh show that picture from last summer actually. When we were going down to Nashville, you actually had Reaper on the back. <laughs> that was, oh, yeah, that was yeah, so so pull that up. <laughs> That's an environment my girlfriend, remember? Oh yeah. yeah. You could have got married, dude. I honestly felt that way. My favorite thing ever though was we left the bar, restaurant, whatever. We get back, she texted me and goes, It's cool to talk to you, but no text, no phone calls, only Snapchat. I was like, Yep, you know what? She's a keeper. She's just trying to hide you from her boyfriend. That's Not how you know it's real, dude. And she was fine, though. She was fine. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, I thought you were going to actually get married, for real. <laughs> Where did I... And I laughed my ass off. I was staying in the room in Cincinnati with uh, Jay. We get there. We're both pretty tired. I turn on the TV. Hey, good grief. Halloween's on. I was the happiest guy in the world. <laughs> so Todd's like, hey, can you do a one-way rental? Yes, you can. So there is a location, I think, in Tacoma, which is basically Seattle. Um and you can go all the way down to LA and it's Eagle Riders. So, EagleRiders.com. Yeah, yes. yeah, look up EagleRiders.com. It is a little bit. I, I was doing actually, I'm going to have to get a new quote now because of the bike, the bike's changing. So I'll have to right. talk with her again tomorrow. Um, but it will, it, for us, it would end up being more expensive to rent the bikes one way than it would to be shipped the bikes out and back. Uh, I did figure that out. So you might want to look into that, dude. But if you don't want to, if you don't want to ship, you your don't bike. want to ship your bike. It's there's definitely an option there to do that. Well, Jesse James, when do you get your new bike? Uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. Just have it by the tenth. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be awesome. Be perfect time. Get rid of this next cold snap, and then we're ready to go. So, uh, shorts have been thought of. Uh, we just one of those things. Um, we have a gazillion ideas. Board shorts, right? 
<laughs> cargo shorts this time. Oh, actually. cargos? Yeah. Cargos would be cool. Like, I got a good idea for those. But those, that that's um, – apparel is not an easy mountain to climb for releasing one-offs. Like, if you, if you have a business that solely focuses on apparel, then it's a little bit easier. Find suppliers and getting them to – give you the pricing that you need to put those out so it's something that we looked into and it's a possibility but we'll probably have you know samples out deodorants cologne stuff like that that's more in line with what we do versus uh apparel items for the most part uh, helmets yeah i don't know what she's talking about because we're not going to wear helmets unless we have to and she knows that so unless she wants us to sell helmets yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I think she's so mad Viking helmets. That makes sense. Yeah, but I'm not afraid to tell her. She's in the other room. She don't scare me. She ain't gonna come in here. She won't come in here. <laughs> Todd says, uh, "Time in that shipping and shipment and the arrival can be sketchy," and that's one thing we were looking into. Yes, now you can do you can do um, a guaranteed delivery date. So, uh, it's like a hundred bucks extra or something to ship them out. But coming, oh, it's still going to take the transport time. I, I, get with me. I can go over all that with you on the phone or, or through messaging, whatever, and break it down to what the information I have so far. So we can do that. But, yeah, there's definitely um, a guaranteed delivery date option. For sure. Uh, Chris Ho in chat says, beard wash and conditioner are awesome. And my wife's hooked on the Argan and Hemp shampoo. The, and the conditioner, she won't use anything else now. He's like, I would use it, but I'm bald. Well, the cool thing about the argan hemp is um, you can use it on your beard, and it's designed to be more more of a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner than our biotin is. Um, so that's why we offer them both up, but we put the you know the argan and hemp in the shampoo category just because it works so well on everything. So. <clears throat> Don't mind me. Ms. Felicia says she loves a shampoo and conditioner. Orchard is her go-to scent. Orchard is one of our most popular scents. It's up in the upper third. Yeah, we actually got to take some back, some orchard back into the Harley shop. Uh, Ron, uh, at in service, wanted some, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's gonna, be, that's gonna be my next go-to. I haven't had orchard in a while. It does smell so good. Nothing will ever top right and wrong. Mm. I don't know if you smelled the new scents yet. No, go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the new scents are the best, dude. Nah. They are, dude. I honestly, yeah. I, I go back and forth between them now, like because I really like Fenrir. Like, I think that is my like favorite. Fenrir, like, yeah. Out of the two, but then I'll like, but then like you said the other day, like you you, you guys walking through smelling it, but like me switching to it from the other one, it's like wow, that's that's really tasty. Yeah, it's smooth, man. It's uh, I noticed like people like actually, when you you could like people walk by and they're like, what is that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's definitely one of those scents that do that. Drink drink gear as well. I got a lot of people like messaging me reviews stuff like that, and uh, it's doing pretty well. Another product that you guys put out that we doesn't get a lot of talk about is the bar soap. Dude, like that, like my, my wife literally, that's what she steals the most. I have any kind of bar soap, like she just, especially in this moment. Oh, she likes the peppermint. Yeah, 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 that's that's her go. Yeah, I know the Drangir and the Fenrir soap is like, and the Axe Hook as well. It's hard to keep on the fucking shelf. Like we're trying to get it made as fast as possible, and it's just not happening. Which ones, that? Yeah. Uh, all three new scents actually. Yeah. Uh, we have a ton back ordered right now on the Axe Oak that we're trying to get out. But as you know, like soap has to cure before you can ship it. So yeah. we're just trying to get through that. And then Drangir and Fenrir are close to being on back order. But uh, we should have more of that in stock soon. So, <laughs> But the soaps are doing really, really fucking well. Amanda says, yes, she will. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Bullshit. No, you won't. We know she will. Um, yeah, and she also said butter samples. Butter samples are working on those hard hard and fast to get the packaging and everything ready for those. Still going to take just a little bit of time, but they are coming. Um, a rerun on the Black Label Society scent. We still have the BLS scent, Paul. Yeah, BLS is still out there. Hmm? 
Do we still offer it? It's on the site. Should be unless something we can double check the site, but uh, I know we still have it. Yeah, it's up. I just uh, restocked the oil today. So, okay. Oh, yeah, well, that's maybe that maybe that's what he saw. Um, I can't remember what was that Sonic Brew? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, named after we we first album. Yeah, we got that deal when they were doing the what was it, twenty year reunion. Uh, we were down there at that concert and. Uh, we had a meet and greet with Zach and he actually seen us wearing Mad Viking shirts and he's like, Hey, what's this about? And we told him and he looked over at Blasco and he's like, Hey, get these guys information. So Blasco, you know, pulled me aside, got my information. It was like two weeks later, shot me a message, uh, email. And he's like, let's work together. And I'm like, cool, let's, let's fucking do it. And it was, it was that simple. We just, you know, got to talking and came up with some ideas and we wanted to, you know, kind of circuit that around their, their, I think it's the 20th anniversary of that album. Yeah. And it was perfect. You know, the artwork was there, everything was good to go. And, uh, we just kind of bounced sense back and forth with them and what they kind of wanted and what they dug. And that's how it came about. So, and we still have it today. So. <clears throat> Definitely a solid set. Yeah. It, it does. Speaking of well. sense, give something away. Yep. Mm. We should let Brandon do it. All right, Brandon, what are we what are we giving away? Well, Reaper's blind, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stroke through the comments on my phone down here and let him pick and let him pick. But wait a second, let's figure out what we're giving away first. What are we giving away? Hey, well, yeah. can you allegedly grab one of those PBRs for me? I sure can. Let me allegedly <laughs> take that. What do you want to give away, Jay? Uh, do a dealer's oh. choice. Well, let's do something stupid. Let's give an axe away. Well, no, if you're giving an axe away, then I'm going to get a mine. Okay. Can I get no, no. I don't, I don't even know if we have one out there. I don't know if the list. Let's do. I get a skull. Let, let's do a. F... I don't know. I don't know what to do, man. I don't know. What do you want to do? You want to do a new we, scent, new we, beard oil scent? We send Reaper out in the warehouse. Whatever yeah. Reaper can come back like, in this room yeah. with. Like, That's what we give away. We'll put them in the general area where all the product is, spin them around three times, and just let them walk into something and grab Yeah, it. then he comes back with a towel dispenser from the woman's <laughs> restroom. <laughs> they win. Congratulations. Right. You won the towel dispenser from the Mad Viking warehouse. Well, I'll sign it. And the only extension cord I have left. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So let's not send him. He can pick the winner. And I'm fucking fine with that. <laughs> okay, right. what do we want to give out? Um, Dude. let's uh, since we're everyone's talking about BLS, let's do a BLS oil, um, oil balm and soap. We got that. We have all that, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we do, do an oil, uh, BLS oil balm and soap. Go ahead. Ryan. All right, ready, Reap? Yeah. I'm just gonna randomly go up and down with the comment section, and when I stop, I want you to just point at random person. Ready? And use that finger. Right? Yep. Use that finger. Well, no, no, just point at one. I just point. Stop Brian yelling. Brian Tarville. I don't know him. Oh, that he, Brian's the luckiest dude ever. Yeah. Did he win a Wolfpack? Uh, he not this no. one, but I think on yeah like, a couple last streams. Well, yeah. let's game awesome. right then. We'll give it to somebody else. No, he won. No, it's too dude. late. Honestly, it's too late. And, yeah. And, and dude, the the comment that you picked it said Reaper get Reaper a trike. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, he wasn't even talking about you. So it's fitting. So there you go. Um, Brian, you know how to get a hold of Zach. Z-A-K-K at madvikingbeard.com, just like you did last time, and we'll get that sent out, dude. Just remind him what 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 he, what he you owe him, too, I or what he owes you. Oh, you owe, you, you got to write down. Paper towel dispenser from the girls' bathroom. Yeah. So yeah. Joe Barone says, huge, <laughs> huge shout out to the ladies behind the scenes. Thank you for such great customer service and fast delivery. I call bullshit on that comment no, um I, ladies no. don't put in at all around here actually the, they might not even be here i actually think i heard amanda scream i'm only kidding <laughs> yeah. in all seriousness this place would not run without the girls yeah so, i was gonna 100%. say like if you buy anything from this company you can almost guarantee that one of the wives had their hands on it not these two right <laughs> i mean honestly i can say that yeah with like like a time stamp like guarantee I just gotta get a couple more. Well, that that's not a, that's not entirely true. I know. It's I'm um. So, as far as shipping, the girls are shipping stuff out. As far as customer service, they're taking care of everything re regarding that. 
Um, but Jay's like kind of the mad scientist when we're kicking out new products or, or doing new stuff like that. You know, just like uh, he's working on some changes with some stuff. We're going to be kicking out cologne here pretty soon, deodorants. Like he's working on all that stuff. So, you know, he's he's got his hands on a lot of those products. Oh, it takes a team for sure. And yeah. Again, throw props back at you, Jay, for doing all the all the internet stuff and all the advertising, all that stuff. So it, it definitely takes a team. Um, but yeah, I mean, just go back to that in all honesty, the girls, it, it would be, a, it would be a rough road to hoe here without yeah. the girls. So it'd be a rough hoe to, <laughs> and we, but we screw with them constantly. So yeah, we do all the time. I don't understand how they even speak to us. Yet. I don't know. I give mad props to all the employees here at Viking because they deal with some random stuff here, you know? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> like, I forget, what's your one employee's name? Is it Sarah, the one that... Uh, yeah, sir. Sarah. Mm -hmm. at the first time I came here in the Speedo, Yeah. she was just like, well, what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a normal work day. <laughs> yeah, our friends are here, that's why. <laughs> Steve Sherlock said, it's fucking rigged, I'm out. <laughs> Fuck this place. It's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say all that, but I added it. Yeah, we like I know how you how you feel. Right. So hey, we're doing more giveaways, Steve. If you hang on, you'll probably get to see a couple more Monsters Ball videos, a couple more giveaways. And we haven't get we haven't gave away this bastard yet, right? We haven't given given that away yet. So it's coming up. We'll probably give away him last because he's the best. I thought you said, said me and Reaper had to fight for it in the board of no shirts. Yeah, we could do that. That'd make for good video, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good video and good memory. Like it's sexy. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. So let's uh let's play another Monsters Ball video. What do we got on cue there, Zach? Uh the only one that we have left this time is the Whiskerina Realistic. All right. This one has Hall in it. And which one's this? I forget. This is the one where Jay is a uh, 60 minutes correspondent. Oh, jeez, I forgot oh, about that one, too. So the story behind this one, this was an idea that we had super on the fly. Uh, I always, like, find comedic value in those videos where it's all blacked out and people have their voice changed. I don't know why I think that could be funny, but you guys can judge for yourself. Um, the script was wrote on the fly. Jay's a uh, 60 minutes correspondent <laughs> and he's doing a story on a guy that just runs chaos over a whole County in Pennsylvania. Uh, he fucks everybody's moms basically. Uh, the, he's here. Right <laughs> I can't now. believe I'm fucking explaining this on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> that just my life. So, so th this video uh, was just our creative bastard niche whatever i don't i don't know we just had a, a fucked up idea and we put it on video we're and, idiots and we have cameras and here it is so let it roll <laughs> good evening i'm gabe I Nugget, so and you're smart. watching 60 minutes our story begins here in these hollowed hallways it's once bustling warehouse it's a story of a man who set out to take out and destroy one small town in western pennsylvania with his penis. No, we're not using penis. Richard, Dick, we're not using penis. Give me something. Well, no. Well, that that that's the line. No, that's we're not no. using penis. No. Just give me what else? Give me something else. Uh, what about like a meat puppy, dude? Meat meat pu take over skin a, flu. Skin take over a small town with the skin flu. The meat. Puppy. Sounds like a musical instrument. Sm yeah, sounds like he's playing the flute. What about pork sword? Pork, pork sword. Meat silo. Meat, si meat silo. Let's do that one. I like meat silo. Let's go with that. Take over a small Pennsylvania town with his baloney pony. <laughs> Took over a small Pennsylvania town with his purple-headed yogurt slinger. <laughs> Took over a small Pennsylvania town with his custard slinger. Launcher. Launcher. With his custard launcher. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Gabe Nugget. You're watching 60 Minutes. Our story begins here, in these hollowed halls of this once bustling warehouse. It's about a man who set out to take over and destroy a small town in western Pennsylvania with his meat silo. 
the women he slayed all had two things in common. They were mothers and they were willing. We're going to be speaking with some about the embarrassment and shame that they felt when they find out that their mother saddled up on this man's baloney pony. Welcome to my 60 minute special, The Motherfucker of the Land. Tell me about your experience the first time you saw the motherfucker. So I walked into the house after work one night and uh, it was just in the living room getting a Lewinsky. I'm sorry, a what? A Lewinsky. Got me another room. Big Jim and the boys are getting the bath, you know. <laughs> you mean a blowjob? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, this isn't as easy as I thought. I, I don't know. <laughs> So tell me about your experience meeting the motherfucker. Oh God, Nugget. Gabe, it's Gabe. Yeah, so anyway, I hear this noise downstairs. It almost sounds like two pigs fighting over a milk bone, do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I don't know what you mean. Yeah, Nugget, it's like... It's Gabe, still Gabe. Okay, well, Gabe, anyway, I start going downstairs, and there he is, the motherfucker, just standing there cleaning the cobwebs from my mom's womb room. I mean, he's just taking the skin boat to Tuna Town. He didn't even stop when I started crying. I can't do this. He's right there. <laughs> this is complete bullshit. I don't know. We Nobody will talk. How are we supposed to expose this? How are we supposed to get out here? And how am I supposed to get off of cable TV? This is ridiculous. I don't know, Gabe. We have to do something. We need, we need someone to come forward. We need someone to talk. We have to find someone. You think, uh, you think Mike will do it? I mean, it's his lawsuit. Yeah, do you think? I don't... Uh, should we try it? Yeah, let's call him. You got his number on yourself? Yeah, yeah, I, I have his number. Let's fuck it. Let's call him. Let's see what happens, man. All right, here we go. Hello, this is Mike. Hey, Mike. Uh, I'm trying to do this uh, documentary on the motherfucker and these pansy-ass people. Nobody wants to talk. They all just keep running away. I need you to come in. Nah, nah Gabe. You know I can't do that. That son of a bitch is probably gonna whole hog on my mom right now. <laughs> Dude, I know he gave, I know, I know he gave your mom the full hot beef injection, but uh, you're the one that started this class action lawsuit on the motherfucker, and th this is why we're here filming this documentary. I would, Gabe, but this is a motherfucker. He's dangerous. This guy's a wild man. You don't know what he's capable of. He's a loose cannon. He's no ordinary man. I mean, I mean, who does this to a whole town? I'm scared, man. Yeah. All right. I uh, I get it. You won't come in. Uh, you know what? Can you uh, can you do one thing for me though? Yeah, brother. What can I do for you? Uh, just introduce the next category for me. Welcome to Monsters Ball. The next category is Whiskerina Realistic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was so fucking stupid. I love it. I love the twinkle in your eye, too. That's my favorite. That was a good send, Jay. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to Mike Tyson and everything. Uh, yeah, I, I, there's not nothing I can say after a perform. I mean, I deserve an Emmy. I, mean, dude, I, I thought that was incredible. You guys have so many good plot lines. It was so funny. That really takes you to the bowels of our, uh, what do you call it? Immaturity. Yeah, mentality. <laughs> yeah. That's what Maturity, we're thinking about. Maturity, yeah. yeah, lack of all of it. Yeah, so. What yeah. that video highlights, though, that I just now realize as I hang out here is you guys need more art on the wall. Yes, we do. Yeah, that's coming, too. Yeah. We uh we actually have all the artwork done um for Gravity X. So it's going to be Gravity X artwork behind me, behind Zach, behind Jay, um even, even around the TV in the back. So we paid... Uh, a guy from Russia, uh, just outside of Moscow, uh, in Ethereum crypto for the artwork. So it's, yeah, exactly. 
we couldn't figure it out either. <laughs> we don't know if we sent him five dollars or five thousand dollars for the artwork. <laughs> we definitely sent dollars of some sort. Though. Yeah, it was dollars. It was it was Ethereum. So, but yeah, that's that's how that show is going to start. <laughs> But there will be some artwork, damn it. I think you should put a nice big portrait of just like me right behind you. Yeah, we could do that too. And we like have... every day you come into work and be like, hey, buddy, love you. I do have your body pillow in my office right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is still one of the funniest things ever. We need the casting couch with Reaper's body pillow on it. That should, just, that should be back in the lobby. A nice couch. It is a nice couch. Yeah. I can't believe someone came on and then returned it to Amazon. So, so maybe the next show we'll just have the pillow on the casting couch, and that'll the be background. the guest. Yeah. That'll be the guest. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's yeah. it. Yeah. I told Zach, I, I'm like, dude, take it home, put a flashlight in it. <laughs> You're fucking golden, dude. You know. Callie wouldn't let me take it into the apartment. Yeah, his girlfriend was like, no, fuck. I don't. I, I don't blame her. <laughs> So, uh, well, I'm not going to say the idea I just had because, yeah, all right, I'm going to say it. Just take it home, take the stuffing out, have Callie wear it, and then impregnate her, and then it'd be like you and Reap having a baby. That's a good idea. <laughs> Dude, that's a monster's ball video right there, baby. That's a good idea. What, the birth or the monster's <laughs> Dude, we can cut it in a three part series. It'd be a trilogy. Yeah, like a 12 hour three part like series. I like it. The making of Baby Reap. Yep. <laughs> I don't know. Motherfucker of a land, too. Yeah, so in the last 10 minutes, I think we lost half our people. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's better that they know now who we are, right? right? Weed yeah. them out early. Right? We know who our audience is. Work actually. hard, be ridiculous. That's Joe Brown wants to see the exploding dryer video. <laughs> <laughs> um, Will that get the FBI on us, Zach? Probably. Uh, oh, just the might. fact that I said FBI. Mm, yeah, yeah, they're shouldn't watching have, now. Shouldn't have done that. Hello, done fans. That. You guys are busy with all kind of other things. It'll be fine. Look away. <laughs> Look away. <laughs> all right. Kind of interesting whole thing. Like maybe if like Zach and I decide to do the my pillow, <laughs> we can have like a kind of three way relationship. You know. We could see um. <laughs> The my pillow guys selling reaper pillows. <laughs> my my pillow reaper pillows for ninety nine ninety nine. One huge hot hunk of fucking cotton <laughs> as reaper. I mean that'd probably fucking sell. It's all patriotic too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. we. I really we, wish we could show a picture of that pillow right now because it's so disturbing. We should see if Amanda will bring it in if Just she's still know, listening. She'll yell at me. She will. No, no, she won't yell at it. Here, five minutes from now, we'll be like, get thrown in a corner. This is comes over the canvas. Right. 2K. Cool. Why don't you give something away? Give something away? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it again. Yeah, pick well, it I already some. picked somebody. So. Pick someone international again. I'll try my best. <laughs> my Reaper pillow. Todd <laughs> <laughs> Dupler says, my Reaper pillow. Dude, we can... We could probably sell those and like two people might buy them. Yeah, like many <laughs> Reaper yeah, throw about... pillows. It is nice though. I mean, it is pretty fun cozy. Yeah. yeah. And if you're one of those like side sleepers that got to have that pillow on, you know, on, I mean, that's perfect. Just get to cuddle Reaper every night. Like if you pay an extra like $10 in shipping and handling, like we'll even like douse it with a scent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just we'll dump pick... a can of PBR on it. Yeah. PBR and Reaper on it. <laughs> yep. It won a blue ribbon, just so everybody knows. In the AD owners. We should get. Can We could ship the the Reaper pillow, couldn't we? Yeah, huh. why couldn't you? Yeah, right to my house. All right. Let's do it. Let's give away the Reaper pillow. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's up to you because oh, it's yours. I, I won it with one ticket in the Chinese. He did win it. Yeah. Oh. So we yeah, can't. Dude, I put like three books in there. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I honestly, I think I put like the vast majority of my tickets in it. I wanted it so bad. Oh wow. So no Reaper pillow. Give away something else. Two case too attached. You're gonna break two case yeah. heart. 
For yeah. real, for real. I could print out a picture, have Reaper sign it, and then we'll send it out to you that way. That would work. Yeah. It's got to be the all set. We're problem. definitely not shipping nudes. Dude. <laughs> no. no. That was. We tried shipping nudes before; it didn't work out really well. Yeah. So. I don't know. I think Brandon, you might be able to tell the best. Talk about the whole day where we did the uh, El Segador photo shoot. Oh, so we talked about it last week um, because we were going to have Dougie on because Dougie's responsible for helping make these uh, scullies. Yeah. But um, so we we actually talked about that photo shoot last week. We were talking about several things, but yeah. the We don't remember because we're drinking PBR yeah. right now. <laughs> that was the best Monday ever. <laughs> that was a great time. That's what made me laugh so hard. We're sitting there doing the photos, and all I hear is Brandon. This is the best Monday I've ever took off of work. <laughs> that was a fun day, though. It was a good day. El Segador. So maybe we can get a hold of Lex. He's the one that uh, made the Reaper pillow and donated it to Monsters Ball. So maybe we can find his source and get multiples made. So, That'd be pretty cool. So is, did, did Lex make the Denny pillow, too, then? Um, no, I Denny did, didn't he? Did he? Oh, okay, yeah, so yeah, maybe yeah. that's where Lex got the idea because I just remember yeah. the Denny pillow was first. all for the shittiest tattoo yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, night I got my ass tattooed on a Harley. Well, on Jay's bike that he just traded in. Oh, shit, that was your yeah, bike. you should go buy that bike off of him. Yeah, <laughs> I should. Yeah, I'd that's... be too big for a sportster. I would look it's like not a... a sportster. Well, I thought it's a wide glide, yeah, but I still think I'd be too big for it. I'd look like I was on a rebel. No way, dude. That's a wide glide. I know. Be fine. You'd fit perfectly on it. Making subtle jokes about JB and Little Hard Boy. Yeah, sorry. I'm trying to find. Um, He's still trying they're, to... they're just bouncing off of him. <laughs> I know. He's so used to them. But it's yeah. yeah. What you got over there, man? Uh, I'm trying to keep up with 19 things and I'm just getting lost. In I apologize for checking out for a minute there. My bad. trying to help me out with my Tinder profile. No, Grinder Reaper. We keep. I keep messing it up. Oh, I don't know which is which. Sit my buddy hole knows. Yeah, Kevin McCade Garner. He's like, my son just turned five, has a sticker collection. How about a few stickers? Well, Kevin, if you email Zach, Z A K K, at madvikingbeard.com, he can uh, throw his email address up in chat, get a hold of him, and just say, give me some stickers, Zach, and we'll send them out to you. But you have to say it in Spanish. Yep. That's the rule. Definitely do it in Spanish. Be nice about it. How would you say that in Spanish? Uh, I have no idea. I never took. Sp <laughs> I took French and sign language. I don't remember a single thing from either one. So. Okay. I'm very fluent in like Spanish. Yeah. Um, say only, something delightful. Well, the only thing I'm fluent in is is the important thing. So when I, I went to a country that <laughs> speaks Spanish, and I wanted to make sure that they could understand me clearly. Clearly, so I practiced this over and over again, and it was. Dos cervezas, por favor. Give me two more beers, please. Yeah, that's all I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's a good one, though. I mean, no, that's that's valuable. That's like, if, you're, if you're on vacation. Don't need yeah. to know anything else. I mean, where are the bathrooms? Don't care. I'm going to pee where I'm at. I don't need to ask. I, you know, I heard a lot of a lot of bars in, in the shadier, more countryside parts of Mexico. Like, you can literally piss at the bar like there's a trough running i've heard of that I mean, have, have you heard that too some of the old bar i mean that was a thing in old bars like even in pittsburgh there was trough. really yeah, yeah for sure and like that's what homeless guys do right now right <laughs> they'll just stand there up here in front of you they don't care yeah that's crazy so you said zach that you took french and sign language yeah how the fuck does either one of those two things ever benefit you in your life <laughs> they really don't to be yeah. honest I mean, he could have been a deaf French translator well, when and Callie moved had, overseas. Well, when Callie has him tied up, he does. The, the sign language works really well. Oh, yeah. That's how I do my safe work. I was just going to say, that's, yeah. where, that's where potato chip comes out. <laughs> potato chip, potato chip. So let, let's let's do that giveaway. Let's do uh, our three new beard oil scents, Axe and Oak, Fenrir, Drangir. And we're right. going to let Zach pick again. Uh, on random and the next person will win those three oils and then our last giveaway for today will be that scully uh, uh probably like towards the end of the show we'll be giving him away so zach just random scroll pick our next uh winner of three of our new sons of beard oils no worry no worry 
Paul Griffith. He just won again. Dirty work. Right? Oh, man. Do we give it to him or do we pick someone else? You pick someone else. You already gave it. Yeah. It's no. the same week. We give, right. we give it to him, but we scroll again and pick somebody new. There you go. All right. All right. Perfect. Felicia. 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 She's just going to give it to Joe. I think she is. Go, we, go we can give it to her, but we just have to, like, Joe's not allowed to use it. <laughs> Okay. He to He's got to ask in Spanish if he can use it. Okay. I like that. Man, this PR working really well. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, just get a hold of Zach, Z A K K, at madvikingbeard.com. Give him your address. He'll get those three of our new beard oil scents sent out to y'all. And congrats, Felicia and Paul, on being massive winners of our beard oil giveaway. And who else we got here? Wait. Hold on, wait. Does Paul qualify? He doesn't have a mustache. Oh, yeah, for sure. His beard and... Oh, he's got a great mustache. beard, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Jonathan Sullivan in chat said, pisser at the bar sounds great. It does, dude. You know how many times you're at a busy bar, you're having a good time, you're talking to your friends, and they're like, hey, dude, I'll be right back. And you go and you take a picture and you come back and there's like 20 people in the spot that you were holding down. Like, So why not have a place that you can... You can piss, right? right. Makes sense. So may, maybe that's our calling, Jay. Maybe we just open up a bar. Or we just all start wearing the pens in the bar. Yeah, yeah they make that funnels works. that hook to your yeah. deal, right? Yeah, yeah. What's that called? Look that up, Zach. I, I don't well, they, look it up on <laughs> no, no, no. Look it up on on Google right now Google on the that screen. Right now. Yeah, share your screen and look it up on Google. Yeah, because it's like a little up? condom it's that goes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, what's it called? It's like a Texas like, catheter. Girl, girls have the she she we or she whiz or something like that. <laughs> she whiz. What's, what's the dude version? We, ah, no, search this. Search we might stadium up, bladder. Yeah. Stadium bladder. You might end up something that's definitely gonna get us kicked off TikTok. No, stadium Bro. bladder right here, dude. Oh, there it is. <laughs> right there, it's like a condom hooked to a straw. <laughs> <laughs> just don't break it dude no, I want one. These, i've heard it guys instead of doing the bladder for oh, like for no. Times square it, uh new year's where they modify these to where it's just the tube going down their pay leg nice so you don't have to carry the bladder around you just hey. make a puddle everywhere you stand you gotta go you gotta go right yeah yeah if you send it like <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic <laughs> I buy that right now, Brandon. Brandon, that's the new speedo, dude. I'm wearing that to the plunge next year. Yeah, dude. You'll never have to go to the bathroom down there. (laughs) I use the the bladder for warmth. Right, right. It's like I'm my own heat pump. We just drove this show off the cliff, man. (laughs) But but hey, check this out. The viewers went up though. Yeah, that's true. Jay, what say you about all this? Yep. Yep. <laughs> we know what direction we're going on a daily basis. So anyhow, Dustin, so. Dustin in chat says Stadium Buddy. Search that, Zach. Is, is that like the name of it, Dustin? Stadium Buddy? Figures of cheese that would come up with this. Come on. For those... Doesn't your penis grease in Green Bay? Oh, yeah, same thing. Yeah, same, same thing. Do. Yeah. Okay. Now look up the she whiz. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know there's We're just going to have a show based on fucked up Google searches. I, I, got, <laughs> I got my wife one for hiking. It's a funnel so that she can pee standing up. Yeah, yeah that's got to be like optimal, right? Like that that makes sense. Yeah. You know, yeah, right there. <clears throat> Hers is like a flexible one. Though. And then if you had to change the oil on your motorcycle, it works for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, it's definitely a funnel in a pinch. Right, right. New bike. What's that? Paul Griffin says it's a new bike. We can use that. Yeah, yeah, we can use it to change the fucking oil. Yeah. No. It's multi use, dude. <laughs> Paul says the diaper's so much cheaper. Oops, I crapped my pants. <laughs> Yeah, there's no solution. Oh, for that. we got we got Steubing snorting over there in New York. Oh, scared, I can hear him from here. Scaring dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see his picture he posted yesterday? His memory. Yeah, that's the. Uh, What's that? Uh, I didn't see that. That was whenever he tried out 
for uh, Ro- to be able to roadhouse. Did you, Sam Elliott. Oh Elliot. yeah, pull that picture up. I saw that Where's picture. It? I was like, oh my. Just go God. to Facebook. Go to your Facebook. Of, uh, Hall and Oates. Oh yeah, he could definitely be. Either. You probably don't know. You can log in, right? Probably yeah. Oh, it's already saved. Perfect. Felicia says she pissed all of herself fishing. I'm assuming trying to use one of those funnels, or she just pissed on herself in general. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, She's going to have to clarify. We're sorry. We're trying to figure out what you meant. Did you piss yourself fishing or fisting? (laughs) Whoa. (laughs) The show has officially (laughs) went off the cliff. (laughs) Is that a (laughs) keyword? Yeah, that's a keyword for we should probably shut this down pretty soon. Thing. Yeah, we've all been there. So, did you get your code? Yeah. Okay. Why so, not? so f- for anybody joining that's trying to catch up, we're looking for Bill Stubing's Roadhouse picture on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> so, in chat, has anybody watched the new Roadhouse? Yes. Yeah. And then, if you have, what do you think about it? And leave your remarks in chat. Let all me right. know how you feel about that. I haven't watched it yet, but I've. I feel like I've seen enough clips of it on TikTok that I already know what it's about. It's not one you really have to think too much. About. It's oh my god, it's the worst movie I've ever seen. <laughs> okay, there it's you go. Name. Yep, he looks like Patrick Swayze's brother. Oh, I thought it was like Sam Elliott. Yeah, he he kind of does have that same Elliott. He's vibe. got the same Elliott stash. Yeah, if he had a, like a cowboy hat, you could definitely yeah. cast him in a western. Which reminds me, if we need to do a video, now we have a cowboy, right? Santa cowboy. If you're going to do a cowboy video, you should use Beyonce's new uh, country album. Jesus Christ. But yeah, that's Bill Tree Beard, man. Woo! Glad he grew a beard. He definitely looks like he could fight in some roadhouse. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Roadhouse. Is it possible to say that without immediately thinking of Peter Green? Roadhouse. <laughs> you can't do it. So Steve Steve Sherlock in chat says the original was better. I agree, sir. Hundred percent. Um Felicia said, Yeah, she's seen it. She didn't think it was that bad. A Reaper looks like McGregor. Yes, sir, he does, Paul. <laughs> you can see, him, especially when he has his shirt off. Right. They're like they could what? be twins. Yeah, McG- McGregor's acting in that was, for me, was atrocious. Oh, my God, dude. It wasn't even funny. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was harsh. I got to say this one, man. During the movie, do you remember the scene? McGregor jumps down. Jake Gyllenhaal was heading a piano. Jake Gyllenhaal was like, piano's out of tune. He's like, it sounds good to me. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Seriously, how do you write this shit? The Matt was right when Reaper came to conclusion. Yeah, it sounds like something something we would write. No, <laughs> but actually, we would write it better. Well, I've seen enough TikToks of oh, yeah. people walking like this. Like, this is Connor the whole movie. Yep. All right. Also, oh, everybody else seen it too, right? There you go. I mean, honestly, it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't that good. That's the way I put it. No. Dude, they, they could have cast that so much better and actually used that same storyline. It would have been great, you know? I, I think it would have went off well, but there was some casting things in there, and then some of the um, the script was weird I don't know. in a certain area. I take offense to all the producers nowadays because all they're doing is telling you my 80s and early 90s charge during <laughs> and just getting us in there but making crap. Right. See, I know, Jay, you're not going to be happy with me about this one. Top Gun, I honestly thought that was literally the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. The new one? Uh, yeah. See, I, I like that. It was pretty solid, yeah, man. I, I, I dug it. I went into it hating it just because of what it was. Watched it, ended up loving it. So I disagree. I, I just, it wasn't for me. Not like the whole time, the one dude, hey, Matt, what's up, Matt? And he's like, I'm a badass. I was like, yeah, cool. For 1982. That really killed the conversation. Barefoot Brain says, you say Roadhouse, I instantly think Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Roadhouse ever. We actually, uh, last weekend, 
uh, we went to Ooh. eat at Texas Day Brazil. Yeah. It was uh, my first time there, and uh, I'm on that carnivore diet, so like I'm all about, you know, going to try a place out like that. And they had some good steaks, some good filet mignon stuff, like bacon wrap stuff down there. What was your favorite stuff, Brandon? Uh, honestly, mine was that, that whatever they called the spicy beef. It was I think that's my nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> that was like. How do you, how do you pronounce that, Jay? Peak Peak and Hana or something like that? Or Pecana. Pecana. That's what that was. The Pecana. Yeah. Yep. It was that outside layer. It was like pepper and some sort of like hot spice or something. Mm-hmm. But but it was like crispy on the outside, like you cooked it on the grill. But then the inside was mm-hmm. perfectly moist and tender. It was fantastic. You said what the carnivore diet? It's where you only eat wieners. I mean, meat. Just meat, baby. Just meat. Is that a real thing, or are you just joking? No, he's real. No, that's that's all I eat, man. Just like, meat. What's like the ideology behind that? Uh, I think it's just more of eating clean and no carbs. Like okay. I, I really don't jump on the the bandwagon or the train. Yeah. Like it's just something that kind of works for me, and I don't really talk about it that much. But um, I was like at three twenty eight, three twenty nine, three hundred twenty nine pounds, and I started it beginning of january and i'm down to 300 even right now oh, so yeah, dude, i've awesome. lost 29 28 29 pounds that's awesome dude. um kind of plateauing out but i think it's uh a decent way to eat i don't know if you could do that long term i might keep on going because it just works for me like who doesn't want to eat bacon every other fucking day or every day <laughs> Were you still good or eggs or whenever you did the uh, burger competition as a judge Oh yeah, in Youngstown. Oh, he was. Man. They made a they made a peanut butter and jelly fucking <laughs> hamburger cheeseburger. Oh, that was terrible, dude. <laughs> like who who eats a peanut butter and jelly hamburger? That was the worst. Well, I did when we were out in California. That's not pretty good. Delicious. Did you try one out there? Yeah. No. Sure. Yeah, you looked at me. You're like you're fired. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because we were talking about it out there. Was that? What? So we when we went out with uh. Uh, Mitch, Zach, me, Jay, the girls, we went out to to film with Ryan Hurst, uh, that one video we did, riding motorcycles and stuff like that, and Dustin was out there, and Vicky, and Eiler, and it was a great time, but um, we, what restaurant was that? Do you remember the name of it? I don't remember the name, no. So, we were ordering a bunch of food, and Zach got his PB&J burger, and I'm just like, did you fucking really just do that dude i do remember that now as soon as you mentioned it as soon as you looked at me and said you're fired i'm like i do remember that <laughs> <laughs> so what was it just a cheeseburger with peanut butter and jelly like yeah pretty much i mean it, i thought it was good and i i could sounds eat. awesome it sounds yeah. incredible yeah i could eat almost anything though so got an iron stomach can't drink almost anything but you should show you should show everybody in YouTube land some pictures of your last trip to Florida. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the pics I didn't I didn't get too messed up. I think it was I think it was a trip before. Yeah, that was when uh, when Dak won that trip. Yeah. Those yeah. are the pictures you should show. Yeah, maybe maybe next show. Maybe next maybe show. next show. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Felicia, peanut butter and jelly burgers are not the ball. <laughs> my favorite though is so you probably wouldn't like this then i make my awesome homemade reaper chili but you dip peanut butter bread right in there it'll blow your balls off <laughs> peanut butter bread or peanut butter toast just uh either would work i just usually get white bread put peanut butter on it. and you're putting in what chili yeah like what kind of chili? Like oh, I make the best chili you've ever had. Okay, I've challenged you before. I know. We... I like peanut butter and toast and uh, spaghetti. Oh. Mm. I love I mean, peanut butter and spaghetti. Man, y'all need to leave this room. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> you guys are fucking weird. Exactly weird. Uh, Daniel Trahan in chat chat said he uh, last year at this time he weighed almost four hundred pounds. Got disciplined, eating right, and lost over 100 pounds, and now he weighs 274. Dude, congrats, man. Yeah, God bless. Great loss, bro. Good job. How did, how did you do that, Daniel? A lot of exercise, just eating right? Or, like, how did you go about that? 
Or did you just like snort lines of Ozempic or something like that? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, hey, to each their own, dude. Hey, to each their hey, own. Hey, to each their own about this being eaten clean and all that. Paul Griffin just made gave me like my awkward boner number seven hundred. Oh, that places. dude, I would totally eat that. A pierogi burger. Oh yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Man. Good grief. Like Reaper. pierogi pizza. Have you had pierogi pizza? You know, you know how's, who has good pierogies? Oh, sorry, I'll put that down. So, Southern tier, Jay. Yes. Yeah. That pierogi are amazing. I love pierogies. There's a, there's a, I'm trying to think who has the pierogi pizza. It's pretty fire. It's a place in Butler. There's is that wood fire pizza grill. Is really good. Yeah. The wood fire grill. Yeah, I think it's the wood fire place that I'm thinking of. Yeah. I still think one of my favorites was we were all out at Timber Creek. And we're sitting there talking about the best way to make scrambled eggs. Like, do you add water or milk? And the big guy, he was all on my side. Like, you have to add milk. And the waitress came by, and the big guy goes, is there any chance that you could make us scrambled eggs, one with milk, one with water? And she just goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a habit of asking uh, – waitresses to do weird things random questions right so steve sherlock in chat says intermittent fasting is the trick um that's kind of what i do i uh only eat once a day probably pretty much like in a hour window and that's about it drink water the rest of the day except this alleged can of <laughs> golden freshness occasionally i'll just fall off the rails but it happens you have to generally bad by bad influences right right <laughs> Reaper. <laughs> I feel like if like this weird if we don't drink PBR when Reapers in our presence. Dude, they should make keto PBR. That that'd probably be pretty good, right? Keto PBR. How would they do? You used to like the PBR coffee. Yeah, that's pretty good stuff. Yeah. They don't make it. They, they don't make it anymore. No, it's done. Oh no shit. That sucks. I guess it's my fault for not buying it. Well, it was a couple of years ago. Yeah. It was like COVID area. PBR actually made vodka too. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. You remember that? I chugged almost a whole bottle of it at <laughs> Monsters Ball at Cadillac Ranch. I was on the stage. I'm like, okay, here we go. Boom. And I couldn't put the whole thing down, but it, I got fairly close. It was a good college try. I remember back whenever we got that PBR coffee, you opened it up, took a swig, and just went, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much what yeah, it tastes yeah like. i opened one up drank it and go, yeah you're absolutely right that is <laughs> Adult exactly Yuhu. like you imagine if they made it with the uh extra extra pbr now we're talking yeah so uh barefoot brains and chat has a good a good fucking point we started this show with uh hey we're gonna do some beard product giveaways and answer all your bearded questions and it he basically said, um, this show is getting crazy, going from talking about peeing funnels to all kinds of different foods. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. <laughs> well, no one's asking beard questions. I yeah, I mean, say that. There has been zero questions we'll, about beards in the comments. Never, we'll ever, ever leave us to our own device. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you leave us. It, I mean, it, just made my day. <laughs> if everybody in chat was in here, It'd be the same fucking way. Right. right. Like, it would just be, like, 10x of what it is right now. So, like, that's what happens when you all get us together. So I mean, I can answer all your beard questions right now. Yes, you want to grow a beard. It's easy. You know how you do that? Do you have razors and clippers in your house? <laughs> Please stop using them. Put them away and just let it grow. Right? But I do have a confession to make. Oh, boy. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> I, I do shave from time to time. You like yesterday. Like down below or just above? my balls. <laughs> oh, I just <laughs> want to I didn't I didn't see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. No, honestly, I do shave. I, I always joke around. I do shave. I shave here and underneath just to keep the lines crisp. I know some people, depending on the categories, they might not do that. Like like even for my category, for instance, I I tend to compete in the natural categories. Sacrilegious and asshole. I if I should just let it just naturally grow, but that's that's a good point, Jay. I'm just really reading chat hardcore right now. But Barefoot goes coffee flavored beard products. So like, if we flavored our beard products, yeah, we have to make them edible. We have to make them edible. 
Nobody's doing that, right? Do not eat our beard products <laughs> currently. No, not currently, but maybe in something. the future. Yeah, so maybe something you try. I mean, I can do it. <clears throat> Definitely. It's, I, I mean, yeah, it's possible for sure. Anything's possible. Do you think that lends itself to cannibalism? Is like, <laughs> is like that the gateway or? Well, I, funny enough, I just had a thought talking about it. I, if you could use the same flavorings that you use to flavor flavored coffee. Right. But you wouldn't have the fragrance. Oh, yes, yeah. No, yes, no? Yeah, yeah. Also, You'd have the fragrance in there. Okay. Yeah, and then it would, I don't, yeah. It's, and it would it's give, basically like a vape. Yeah, it'd be like yeah, making be a vape. You'd yeah. just use like, uh, you could use use a little bit of glycerin and then like some, uh, some either shea butter or cocoa butter, which are in their refined edible. form, edible. Yep. That's what um, killed uh, the T-1000. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's definitely what, possible. shea butter? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty sure shea butter didn't kill the T2000, dude. I still stand for it. I told the big guy what he should do is all mad Viking products, put a sticker on there. Caution, may make all facial hair fall off. No. What I, I told him a couple of years ago. It's terrible. Uh, idea. Let's see. My oldest, my, my middle son is seven. So about six years ago, or eight years ago. I said Here's you need to put here. a disclaimer on their bottles that may cause pregnancy. <laughs> because there was a weird happening going on where guys yeah. were growing beards, they were using Mad Viking products, they were having relations with their significant others, and children yes. and children were <laughs> popping up. You, He's like five. <laughs> you put coincidence together, I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was the beer pros. I buy a group. <laughs> Todd Dupler says Mad Viking lubes. <laughs> Wait, we're not supposed to use it for lube already? Can, uh, we can totally shoot that commercial. <laughs> uh, oh, I just want to, I just had a notification come across my phone. What's that? Let's raise the Jolly Rancher because the Buckos won today. Uh, they won their uh, home, home opener. opener. Well, season opener, opener. season opener. They're yeah, season Miami, opener. But, yeah, they won. Uh, they're playing the Marlins. Yeah, That's got to be an uninteresting game. Right. Playing the Marlins. Six to five. Awesome. Catch up here for a second. So we busted through all of our Monsters Ball videos. Mm-hmm. Yep. We've talked about She Wiz P Funnels. We've. That that wasn't on the agenda for today, by the way. <laughs> in what if, in what part in this episode do we start talking relationship advice for Raybird? Uh actually I, I was gonna leave it to chat and see what they wanted to talk about. Just really? throw some random subjects out there and we'll jump on it. Yeah, absolutely. like a like a grenade. Right. Yeah, yeah. Use your brain. So I do I do see that uh Jonathan Sullivan just said that um putting after shave on a on a beard. Ooh. I would not recommend that. Oh, yeah, don't do that. They're a lot. They're heavy in alcohol. Yeah, yeah it's going to dry out. And so if you are, even if you are using beard products, you're drastically increasing the chances that you're going to dry your, your hair, the beard itself out, and create skin damage. as well. You could create skin damage as well. So if you have a beard, don't use aftershave. Um, use beard oil. And you'll get, if you're looking, if, because it's got to be the fragrance you're looking for, so find a fragrance of beard oil that you like and use beard oil instead of aftershave. Yeah, it's going to treat your skin way better. Correct. So there's that. So I say. So there's a beard question. There was a beard question. Right. Yeah. Finally. Um. So I say let's get a, get get this Scully, get this show on the road. All right. Let's do it. This is a moment some people have been waiting for. Maybe like five of you. All right. I'm gonna go pee, and however many drops I drop, we can put like letters to names, and we'll figure it out. <laughs> That's how we'll pick the winner. That's scientific. I like that. Right? <laughs> so how long we got to wait for that? <laughs> going to be a hot minute. We, Jay, you want to do a rando? Yeah, let's do a rando. You okay. Pick. And then we're at an hour and 40 minutes. We can wrap this bad boy up. Yeah, definitely. So here we go. Eyes closed. Up, down, up, down. Drum roll. Kevin McGade Garner. Never heard. He's Kevin, never heard of you. Really. Kevin Garner, if you hear me, 2K is writing down your name now. Shoot us an email. You should have gave it message, to Jeff Blair. And we will get you the Scully, man. Congratulations. Yeah, definitely. 
He said, can we get some butter? A message, message um, or email Zach, Z-A-K-K, at madvikingbeard.com, and give him your address and all that good stuff. Uh, he'll look you up in the system, but it'll definitely help if you get a hold of him. So there you go. Congrats. You won uh, one of our prototype scollies. We are going to make these. Um, they're coming in a few weeks, and they're coming with like an actual another new scent called Hammer and Throne, and that's going to be an awesome unboxing and surprise. I'm working on it right now with the artwork, and uh, we got Dougie uh, during working on the uh, mold or the sculpting for that actually for the 3D printers and. Uh, but yeah, congrats on the win, man. We got uh, one more. I think that's pretty important to hit on here. Um, What's that? From Tom, he says that he's heard there's a lot of uh, some changes coming to Ifra this year. And how do we have any thoughts or heard anything about that? Uh, uh, absolutely, Definitely. it's not necessarily Ifra that the changes. It's Mokra, yep. um, which basically says now that all beard products are a cosmetic and as such must pass. Uh, FDA, Mokra approvals, testings, uh, all of that stuff. Um, the good news is, is that we at Mad Viking have known about it, have been preparing and already in compliance with all of that, and we will continue to stay in compliance. So, but that is definitely um, anything you put on your skin now is considered a cosmetic in the United States. Right. Um, just like it is, it's been like that in Europe for a while, but it's definitely it's hit the U.S. Um, the regulations started at the beginning of this year, and they will continue. I'm sure. For even to get more stringent as we move along. So yeah, that's a good question, by the way. But yep. Yeah, I mean, even Jay, on that point, even you know, we've been doing this for years, and uh, we've been educating customers via email back and forth, where we we get reviews saying, "Hey, you're this scent, that scent. This isn't strong enough, or or this is too strong." And we're just like, "Hey, there's you know these standards that we go by. Like it's scientific. You can only put so much on your beard at a time, right?" And um, we we go by those percentages, and we we always have. But there's other beard companies that they literally just sent it until it it blows your face off. Right. I've seen the pictures of people sending that sent me pictures from using other companies' beard products to where they they're just it's obviously like a scenting issue. They're using too much of like like a citrus oil or something like that that's just causing like rashing and burning and stuff. And it's, it's unfortunate. And that's why mokers can't, you know, it's one of the reasons, right? Cause you got to have that accountability. So, but yeah, we're, like Jay said, we're definitely on it. So. So, all right. I think, uh, are we going to wrap this up or. Yeah, we can pull, pull the plug on Pull it. the plug and let's do it. Say, we'll see you next week. Same time, same bat channel. If YouTube lets us. If YouTube yeah. <laughs> will still have us, we yeah. will be here. This was a good test, though, because if we didn't pass this week, then Gravity X has no help. Yeah, well, the Monsters Ball videos kind of opened the door to the topic change. Yeah. And all that stuff. Well, it happens. I'm not, no, I mean, this is why we're here. This is who we are. And hello, we are Mad Viking. So there you go. Right. Love us or hate us. Right. So, yeah, we'll see you all next week. Click oh, like yes. and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you get notified for the next stream. Smash the buttons.